listen, it's great to be among these wonderful patriots. And, you know, and, and I've touched a lot of these folks, you know, along the way, got pictures taken and stuff like that. There's not one person you can put a microphone in front of here that doesn't know as much as anybody who's spoken to. These guys know what they're doing here. These are the true Americans. And they are not being listened to. This particular administration wants to avoid listening to these folks. All they can We should give them a voice. Let's pass this stuff. Come here. What's your name? What is your name, son? My name is Alex. I'm a parent. Alex, how old are you and why are you here today? I'm 21 years old and I'm here because I believe that you know the Obama administration is not listening to us and this is all he's going to hear us if we come here in the thousands. And that's what we're doing here today. And I'm glad we're here. Alex, thanks. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Thanks, John. How did you get that eye? <laughs> oh, I was a this sports guy. injury. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a, he's a battler. <laughs> John, all these guys are battlers. <laughs> You've got a few years on young Alex. You've seen America in tough times yeah. and better times. When I say, what do you say? When I say, we've got to save the America we knew instead of the America we know because it's been eroded in this past year. Years We're going to hold this hell until we kill this bill. We're in a danger zone. There's a reason that in 20, 35 years, just in this short period of time, this country has come forth to be the premier influence on the world. Some of you have heard the toxic stew story. And it's given so much to the world and has saved so many countries and has stepped up for freedom for every people. There's a reason for it. That is the Constitution. That's what this administration right here. is not respecting. Uh, it's not respecting the, we the people. We the people. You're trying to avoid the people's voices. It's uh, it's we're in a, a dire time. So we have to step up. We have to all gather. Mr. Boyd, what made you decide? So You're going to get involved. Do? You're going to get on a plane and fly to Washington. It was you, Grip. <laughs> <laughs> it was watching Grip. <laughs> I'm telling you, what do you think about Grip? Let's get another person. Here. Come on, let's tell us. Yeah. 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 I want to put Grip in his element because he's, he's wonderful when he's surrounded by patrons. He's just great. What's your name? Why are you here? And here? how cool is it? He's not even here. Don't say the man. He made it to the federal government. And I'm so honored. With Speaker no Pelosi, I did not know him behind it. What would you say to you? You ended up with a toxic stew okay. okay. and served with the tainted meat of socialized medicine. Yeah! If you were able to sit down with Speaker Pelosi today, this weekend, and try and convey what the message of all these people are saying, listen, Pelosi, sit down with you. attention to this bill over this past year, we have not paid any attention to the buildup of, of the nuclear buildup in Iran. We've not come out for the freedom movement in, in Iran. We've, uh, we've uh, been remiss in our dealings with uh, issue in uh, Argentina. We've been undermining uh, all our, our, all our uh, allies, certainly Israel. We've been putting a lot of things aside. We, while we, we've been paying attention to this bill, we have not been attending to our 
warriors in Iraq and, 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 and the, uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan that need our attention continuously. What are we doing? What about jobs too? Is out of line. <laughs> and what about jobs too? Yeah. Well, there's so many. Yes. Yeah, so what have we been doing? And certainly, we have a situation where these stimulus bills they're stimulating. We know what it is. We're cutting deals and stuff. We need to get our business supported. We never need to get our economy back. We need jobs. So let's get. We've got a lot of work to do. Let's stop the nonsense with this stuff. Mr. John Boyd. Thank you, Mr. Boyd. And I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>